Good Monday morning. It's good to be with you today. You know, Vitamin, as we look at our day and we go about our day, one of the things that we're, we're starting a new teaching series, and I want you to bear in mind today that the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is with you each and every day. And though in the midst of sometimes our toughest hours and we might be asking God, where are you in this moment? Where is the kingdom of heaven at? Where's your presence? You know, Abraham had those very thoughts with his son Isaac. In Genesis chapter 22, God calls on the greatest test of all of Abraham's life, a man of faith. He asked for him, how much do you love me? Do you love me enough to give me your son to sacrifice him? So he sends Isaac and his son. They go up to Mount Moriah. And along the way, they have their two servants. And Abraham gets ready to go because now it's time for just him and his son. And he tells his servants to wait. We're going to go up to do the sacrifice. We're going to worship. And we are going to come back. And if you know, notice in scripture the word we. Abraham believes that his son is going to come back with him. He's holding on to the promise. So God had promised him that he would become a great nation. And remember, Abraham is at 113 years old. He's 100 years old when Isaac is born. And now they're... Isaac is 13 and God is asking him for a sacrifice. So they go up and they climb up to the mountain. And he goes and he supplies the altar, supplies the place of the sacrifice and binds his son and lays him his son out. And I can only imagine in the moment, it doesn't give us anything in the text about does Isaac say anything. But Abraham, he lifts his arm to the sky about to sacrifice his son. Only time in the Bible that we see that where God asked, and the angel of the Lord tells Abraham, I see how much you love God. Put down the knife, and there's a ram that's in the thicket, and Abraham unbinds his son. Can you imagine how that moment must have been in the, in the greatest test of his faith? And then they go and they sacrifice the ram. But see, it's important for us to understand what it means to have a test and a trial in our life. And James does a great job of helping us to understand what a test or a trial is. And if you go to James chapter one, starting with verse two, it says this, Dear brothers and sisters, when trouble of any kind comes your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow for when your endurance is fully developed, it will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. If you need wisdom, ask the generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is unsettled as the wave of the sea that is blown and tossed with the wind. You know... We all are going to have tests and trials, and I want you to hear me on this, Vitalman. We are going to be tested and tried in the days to come. The very source of who, what we believe in and, and Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, we have not seen testing and trials and even the greatest persecution that I think that is coming upon the church within our own, known, our own nation. Greater time than this, men, that we need to be strong in our faith. We need to put on the armor of God. We need to keep our eyes focused on Jesus himself. As, as Abraham went to sacrifice his son, sent him as a sacrifice, God sent his one and only son for us. And Jesus became the sacrifice and rose from the dead three days later and later sent the Holy Spirit to dwell so the kingdom of heaven can truly be with us each and every day. I encourage you, testing and trials are coming. We've seen them. Remember how God has used you and how God brought you through those testings and trials. I promise you that he's going to do the same for us in the days ahead. Do not waver. Do not be tossed like the wind or on the sea. And when it's all over, men, it's, this is the promise that we have the crown of life through our endurance and through our, our time of patience of the trial. Thank you for listening and being with us today. And we'll see you next week.